everyone, welcome back for today's video and welcome back to my channel. As I'm sure you guys have already seen by the title, today is going to be my top five winter coats, my favourite picks, items that I think you guys should definitely have in your wardrobe or think about investing in. Um, I will insert some try-on clips of these coats as well so you guys can see them actually on me and I'm not just sort of holding up these massive coats. Um, I've never really done a video like this so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I do a lot of haul videos, um, I do the odd makeup video but I don't do sort of lookbook or talk through chat through um, how to style videos and this is something that I've wanted to do on my channel for a really long time so I am so excited to be filming it so please let me know what you guys think of this video how I can improve on future ones and all constructive criticism is totally welcome to hear quickly before we get into the video if you are not already subscribed I would really appreciate it if you guys could go ahead and hit the subscribe button we have reached 14,500 subscribers which is actually insane so I want to thank you guys all so so much for continuing to support me here on my little small channel which seems to be growing um so yeah if you're not really subscribed and you're interested in my content go ahead and hit subscribe if you like the video click the thumbs up and let's just jump straight into this video Harley you need to be quiet because everyone can hear you snorting they can hear your collar Okay guys, so I'm going to start with my newest sort of coat in this collection. Um, some of these coats are last year's, a lot of them are this year's, so I will leave links to absolutely everything below. You should be able to get your hands on all of these coats, and if I can't find an, an exact link to these coats, I will leave ones that I think are similar, either higher end ones or cheaper sort of ones, so that you guys have some alternatives. Anyway, the first coat that I have here is sort of like my trendy coat. Probably not my most practical, but it's definitely sort of the most on trend. I actually think this is really quite 70s inspired. It is a teddy bear coat. I think this is what they're called, this kind of material. This is from Misguided, and I picked this up in the burgundy shade. I managed to get some sort of discount. I think it was 20% off or 30% off. I will leave discount codes below for you guys, because Misguided always have discount codes. This is in a size 10, for those of you that are wondering, and this is oversized. Now, when I say oversized, I probably should have got an 8, but because I've never ordered an 8 in a coat, I just didn't even think about it. I'm normally a 10, um, but it is really significantly oversized. Like, I can fit really thick knitted jumpers underneath here, which is nice to keep me nice and warm, but if you don't want it so oversized, you might want to think about sizing down one, at least one, if not two sizes. So it is just this burgundy style coat. It has the buttons down the front. Um, it's probably not the warmest, but I actually think aesthetically it's one of my favorites. I think it looks really cool. So easy to style with like black jeans, denim jeans, um, like leggings. It's such an easy coat and it's a really great layering piece. So I think this is gonna be great for the transitional period as we come out of the winter, which I know seems way into the future. But you know, March time, I think I'm gonna be wearing this so much because it's a lovely kind of transitional piece that you can layer. Um, so I love this coat, it's definitely one of my favourites, it was out of stock so so much on the Misguided website so hopefully it's in stock now um, for you guys because I know how hard this was to get my hands on. They do this coat in an amazing camel colour, I believe they do it in a green colour, a navy, a cream, oh my gosh guys they do it in so many lovely colours, I just thought that the burgundy was nice to go with these kind of neutral tones and black which are a lot of my wardrobe so... I love this coat, I cannot recommend it enough. I don't know if any of you guys watch Sophia and Chintzia, but Chintzia has been wearing this coat lately and she's been rocking it on her Instagram account. Um, I've also been rocking it on mine, so I will leave a link to my Instagram. And it's great, it's such a cool piece. I think it's great for my uni girls. Um, it's just a really handy coat, so love that one. Okay guys, the next coat is another misguided coat. This video is not sponsored by misguided. Um, I think I've only got two, yeah, I've only got two coats from Misguided, but I thought I would put them first, um, just to put them together. This coat you guys have probably seen, I don't know if you've actually seen it that often, because I don't Instagram it that often, but my friends, if any of my friends are watching this, they're probably so sick of this coat, because I wear it every single day. I literally wear it every day. This has been in one of my old Misguided haul videos, and this I also picked up in a size 10. It is one of those really oversized padded coats. Um, I know that like there are some really expensive versions of this and I know that there are some cheaper versions of this I believe this retails for £40 but don't worry I will leave a link this comes in black red burgundy it literally comes in every colour under the sun a friend of mine got the burgundy and it's a really really nice colour and I think the black would be so versatile but I actually got this blue colour and do you know what I'm actually really happy I got this colour um, it goes really really nicely with my eyes and my hair it just suits my colouring it also made me kind of go out of my comfort zone than my standard black coat 
it's not the most flattering if you're someone that is going to be wearing your coat to work or in the professional sort of side of things i don't think this is going to be a coat for you it's definitely more of a casual piece but it's really really trendy i mean these padded coats were in last year and they still seem to be in this year it's definitely a trend that is still going but it keeps me so warm guys like if i'm going to fill my car up with petrol if i'm going to a friend's house around the corner if I'm like popping out for a casual dinner, like I wear this coat everywhere because it keeps me so, so warm, um, which is really nice for a coat that isn't too expensive. Also, because it again is that oversized fit, I can layer this so well. I fit jumpers, hoodies, knits, everything under it. So I love that about it. It's one of my favorite coats. I cannot fault it, apart from the fact that it doesn't have a hood. That's the only thing that bothers me about this coat. I just wish it had a hood because it's that kind of waterproof material. I wear it when it's raining and I'm like, Ugh. so yeah, my only issue, but I love this color and I love this coat. Okay guys, on to the next three coats. This next coat is also a coat that I have purchased this year. I got this from Stravadarius in Barcelona, but if I can find a link to it, I will leave it below. I know so many brands brought out this style of coat about two months ago probably now um it's this kind of plaid material it is a long line boxy boyfriend kind of thick coat um it's really not that tailored it has a little slit up the back um it has a collar really really nice lapels and it has two buttons but it is boxy it's definitely not tight fitting i have another coat that is a similar sort of material to this and it's much more fitted um but if you're looking for something to sort of wear in the day i think this has been this has been a real favorite of mine actually and i haven't i haven't worn this enough i'm gonna wear this today because just looking at it now i forget how nice the coat is i think because that blue coat is just so warm this is not as warm so i don't wear it as often but it is a lovely coat um super snuggly again you can layer this up it's quite a boxy fit I got mine in a size medium, um, Stravadarius is one of those brands that do small, medium and large. So yeah, that's a little bit annoying because it would be nice to have a more versatile size range, but it actually fits really, really lovely. It's got these big, deep pockets as well, which I love a nice pocket to sort of get all comfy and cozy in. So um, I love this coat. I think it's nice for sort of smart things, meetings, stuff like that. So that is another one of my favorites. And I also think one that someone should have in their wardrobe at some point or another, some sort of a smart, more formal coat that is quite versatile you can wear in the evening and the day. And I think that is that. I also think that that pattern is so in trend at the moment, guys. So loving that coat. The next coat is last year's buy. So I will try and leave something similar below. This is a Zara coat and I got this in a size medium. I picked this up in the sales. Actually, it wasn't even last year, it was the year before. I've had this coat for two years. And it is still one of my absolute favourites. It does go to show that you don't need to spend an absolute fortune on a coat and for it to last you more than two years. Because this is from Zara. I got it in the sale and I still love it. So it is a camel coloured coat, which I know is not everyone's cup of tea. But with these kind of colours and with black, I love camel. I think it's just it's one of my favourite, favourite colours. This is very similar to that last coat. But this is triple triple no it is triple buttons i don't even know what i was going to say there it has three buttons down the front it has false pockets so this is just for the kind of look of the coat um and i think this coat is maybe ever so slightly longer this is one of my most fitted coats I, honestly it's the tightest coat that i own and i could probably only fit a very thin jumper like this one underneath it this is from zara for those of you wondering um i couldn't fit anything that was chunkier under it it just would not it wouldn't really work um but i absolutely love this coat i wear this in the day with a nice big thick warm scarf and like a hat and gloves and it's fine it keeps me warm enough and i love to wear this in the evening i just think because it's fitted it gives you a really lovely shape um it definitely is something which is not probably as trendy at the moment a really fitted coat but i do think um it's a nice thing to have. I think as well, if I'm going into my 20s, I'm, I will be 22 in February, and I just feel like having a nice slim fitting coat is much more mature, much more sophisticated. I love those coats that I showed at the beginning, but they're definitely more sort of trend pieces, which might not be in next year. Whereas, like I said, I've had this for ages and I love it. It has the buttons there. It's just such a well-made coat for Zara. As you guys know, Zara's a love of mine. I think you can get some really good pieces in there. Um that seem to be really popular and 
and that, I've, that have lasted me years and years and I think that's what I like about it I think people think that Zara and a lot of these high street stores are fast fashion but it's how you treat the items like I've looked after it I still have it and I still love it and it's not falling apart on me yet it's probably going to fall apart on me now that I've just gone on about how great it is but no I absolutely love that coat and lastly the fun coat this is a coat that I think everyone should either treat themselves to every once in a while or sort of spend not a lot of money on because you don't know how long it's going to be popular for. I love this coat. You guys have seen this in my last Zara haul. It is my baby pink faux fur jacket from Zara. I actually managed to get this with 20% off during Black Friday because I know this coat does retail for quite a lot. But guys, this keeps me so warm. I have worn this on every single night out I have gone on like for the last three weeks or something. Every single night out, I've worn this coat. Um, and I probably look really bougie and like extra in the standard place where I go clubbing, which is really just like the most standard place in the world. It's definitely not London. Um, I probably look really, really extra in this coat, but you know what? It keeps me so warm. And is this not the, just the best coat? It's so girly, it's so cute. Um, it's really on trend still. I mean, I think if you jumped on this bandwagon last year, cause, well done because you were one year ahead of this trend, but it still seems to be popular and trendy now. Um, if you are not into the baby pink sort of colour, I've seen similar coats to this everywhere and I will leave some links to ones that I love below. No, this is my baby pink one and guys, I love it. It's so great. It's really, really heavy, great quality and it's just something a bit more fun to add to my sort of coat collection. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing how the coats fit on me, what I think, how I would best style them, why I think these are some of the best five coats that you guys should have in your wardrobe. I think you should have, try to have, obviously you can't just go and buy five coats off the whim, but I think you should try and have one or two of these, one for every day, one maybe a little bit more of a quirky, fun coat. I will leave links to everything below. If you have any questions, don't forget to go ahead and ask me in the comment section. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.